Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. I'm Jane. I'm Ashley. We're so making it up. On to what we're doing this week. We are doing makes and uh, that'd be cool. Yep. And some plans for next week. And and my new obsession. Yeah. I've not had a go of the new obsession yet, but we'll see you later. Very exciting. Right. So should we talk about um, the puff sleeve shirt yes. from the assembly line? I'm glad you said that because I couldn't remember this one. <laughs> I, I was, I was right trying again. to rack my brain to go, well, who's made this? I'm re I've just actually noticed while I'm sitting here that I can see a thread um, coming out. But anyway, no, no one will notice. So this is um, the puff sleeve shirt from the assembly line. Um, and there was two things I wanted to talk about this. So just if we look at the pattern first of all, it's got a really nice overlap here. Um, it's a bit of a strange one to when you first make it. You sort of um, attach the front and the back pieces together and, and sort of twist them a little bit. So it's a bit, it's a bit weird, but I have made a couple of these now. Um, but the reason I wanted to show this one was because of the fabric as well. So, which I'm striking. Yeah, it's really nice, really nice. So the fabric is uh, Nanny Eero fabric and I got it from the Draper's Daughter. Um, so they do this in this lovely turquoise colour. They do a black, a green and a pink. And I've got, um, this is a different pattern. This is actually a pattern I made up. But I've got the green as well, just to show you the fabric. So this is a, um, I sort of made this pattern up, it's a bat wing top. But again, the, it, I just think that the colours are really vibrant and I'm not really a, that much of a bright colour person, but I think for me, this is, this is lovely. I think it would make a lovely sort of kimono dressing gown. Um, but this one, based on the back wing top, I ran out of fabric on the back. It's a design feature, she didn't run out of fabric. It's a design feature. I did run out of fabric. <sighs> and um, so I just put this sort of square in, which I think works all right. And my favourite is, is this so people can get like a chalk pen and write messages on your yeah. back? <laughs> it's instead of post-it notes, <laughs> I can do it on the back. Um, and my favourite, hopefully you can see that, one of my favourite labels which Jane bought for me, which says, you can't buy this. I love that. Mm. So yeah, that's what I've been, uh, that's what I've been doing. So you basically created the pattern for this yourself? You just yes. Yeah, I've got, for I've got a back wing t-shirt from whistles at home um, and I just I just sort of laid it out and drew round it and it's sort of a bit of my go-to sort of bat wing bat wing top sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't <laughs> like all sewing sometimes it's great sometimes it's horrible so we'll insert some pictures of you wearing this yes which might follow in a minute or it might be at the end depending on how clever we are with our editing so I have also made a couple of these. Uh, what, and I'm not sure how well they're gonna show up on camera because they're quite dark fabrics. Both of these are crepe from Sew Over It. Let me just show you the other one. There we go. Again, might insert some pictures. So with mine, the actual pattern calls for having a seam down mm. the back and a seam on the facings. I haven't done that with these because I didn't see the point, quite honestly. You can get them on mm. and off. And I think it's to do with saving the fabric so you don't have to cut everything out on the fold. I also managed to get both of these out of a metre of fabric each because they haven't got a directional print, I, I sort of did some creative pattern cutting. I see. And I think, I think you know, I, I did do my back in two panels and you can see there the, the two panels and I did the facing in two panels as well. Just, I think really experience um, and lack of it. So I am still at the stage where I, I do, I must admit, I do like to improvise and I do like to not follow instructions where patterns are concerned, but I was a bit like, well, you must do it like that. I have to say, if I did it again, I wouldn't I wouldn't do that. Unless you do have fabric constraints, then yeah. I can understand why. And it 
also called for technology's talking to me and I'm not quite sure what it's saying. Um, it called to have it top stitched around mm. here, which you've done. I haven't done that either because no. it just sort of, I've understitched it, but I've not top stitched it. Again, you probably can't see that on here, but as I said, we'll insert pictures of us mm. wearing them. And I think it depends on the fabric, doesn't mm. it? Because I sort of top stitch some things I think look really nice top stitch and others not so. I think that looks really nice, not, not top, top stitch, stitch, but yeah, this would look equally as nice. But again, I think it's down to experience and, and I tend to um, play about with some things and others I'm not so sure about yet. You're doing what you're told in that occasion. I was doing what I was told. told is it? Right. And do you know what I really hate doing? These. The um, darts. The darts. I really struggle with them. Do you? Yeah. Because they're always unequal. They're always sort of... Again, I try and follow it, but they're always... They're always not quite right. I don't think you'll be able to see it on this one, but I struggle with it. Whatever pattern I do, I struggle with it. Do you? Mm. Probably need some more practice. Um, we should talk about what we're wearing. We should. We're wear, both wearing me made in dark colours, which is great for filming. Not. <laughs> so I have got my toaster on. Not, not my actual toaster. My toaster's <laughs> off. It's very lambing, isn't it? It's, it? This is from Stitchy Bee, and I think oh, she's called it something like Sheepy Sheepskin. Um, it is, sorry about the sound effects, it is a synthetic um, nylon, I think it is. Um, it, it sews up really well, it's not stretchy, and it washes really well. It attracts dog hair really really well which you probably can't see at the moment I'm covered in dog hair but yeah and it's one of those things that I bought the fabric and thought mm, mm. I'm not sure and I thought it, it's good because it's got body for it to, to be a toaster and then when I made it I was like mm, I'm not sure but I actually ended up wearing it quite yeah, a lot it's really it's nice really easy to wear and mine is a Kotagun um, boiled wool um, Debbie Debbie Shaw Debbie Shaw nearly said Debbie Moore Debbie Shaw <laughs> Debbie Shaw <laughs> waterfall jackets yeah waterfall jacket so um, we'll probably show these in another vlog another time um, we've both got quite a few of these but yeah boiled, boiled water again I I tend to wear this this is a bit of my go-to comfort type um, coat again and especially as it's really cold today and I was feeling really cold earlier so yeah really comfy really versatile and I'd highly recommend making them. And this is this is my latest obsession. And I think that I've been re rejoined. I've been rejoined. I have no idea what I'm about. I have kicked off my obsession with my Cricut slash Cricut. Not really sure how you're supposed to say it. After looking at a uh, stitched up. Uh, blog by Rachel where she was making things for her daughter's 21st oh. birthday and I had mine in the cupboard and my husband used it more than I have and I saw Rachel using it and I thought I could do that so I have been going mad on my cracker all week doing doing lots of playing things so it's, it's loads of fun so I have made this for my son and this is a design that you can buy so there's loads of free designs and loads of paid designs. I've got something on the sleeve there, but I can't show all of you, show it to you, all of it to you, uh, because it's brand name, I might get into trouble. So this is made from a uh, viscous jersey that I bought when we went to Gold Hawk Road. It's lovely to sew, it's lovely and soft. And that was, and that was 8.95, wasn't it, a litre, which is, which that would make, I mean, that is that is gorgeous. That would make a lovely, lovely night dress mm. or a lovely top. I think yeah. you, you might be making a top next, next might you? But, but yeah, it. really nice and soft. Yeah, it is really nice. Um, and this was nap, it's a nap time pattern um, that I've, I've made loads of these for my son. I'd, I've made loads of his pajamas. So um, yeah, that's, that's the design. Um, and it's iron on washable vinyl and the top mate was about an hour from cutting out and sewing up so that's that one and then the other things I've been and I've made a few of these so again with the cry cut for the writing 
The bottom is grey wool that I already had in my stash and then the muslin is some that I have got from Stitchy Bee uh, which is great to make up as um, bags and things. So on this one I've done a double ribbon drawstring. And, and they're really nice aren't they for, ha for putting gifts in yes. or you can make shoe bags out of them. So my husband and I know your husband have a very big penchant for um, expensive shoe shoes. Bag, yeah. So, you know, the, the expensive shoes do come with shoe bags, but they're a bit uninspiring. So yeah. you could just make anything, couldn't you? Put messages, wear your yeah. shoes, put your yeah. shoes away, mm. get rid of your old shoes, you don't need any more, all of that stuff. Yeah. So I've made this one to put my sewing books in and sewing patterns and things to keep them nice and tidy. I've made one for a friend that I'm not showing here in case she does watch this. <laughs> um, for her birthday instead of wrapping paper because all the bags I make her she she finds a use for, she reuses them for something else. I think it's more sub 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 sustainable yep. than using wrapping paper. And again these take probably about an hour to make and they're great because you can just have loads of fun with them. Yeah really so nice. That's what I do. So I've got my, my dilemma that I wanted to um, bring on here. So I am um, out of my stash at home. I keep coming up against this same piece of fabric and I really don't know what possessed me to buy it and I don't know what to do with it. So I'm gonna hold it up. So if you can see it there, it is, um, it's a sort of watercolor um, sweatshirt. sweatshirt yeah. So it's watercolor sweatshirt fabric. I've got, I think about two meters of it. Um, I was drawn to it for some reason and um, and I had a bit of a mad buying spree of lots of sweatshirt fabric and to make hoodies and I sort of made one and then the rest of the fabric is sat there and this one I keep looking at thinking what on earth am I going to make with it so if anyone has any ideas or has bought similar type of fabric or even this fabric please let us know because I really don't know what to do with it. I'm thinking a nice little romper suit for, um, for being indoors in might be good. Or I could torment my children and make something for <laughs> them. <for them. laughs> I see that and then they never wear it. <laughs> no, I don't know what it is about it. I do like watercolory type things, so it must be that, but it's sort of, yeah, it's definitely not a wearing out thing. Maybe pajamas. Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, yeah, pajamas for wearing around the house. I don't mm. think you can wear that into bed. I'm not answering wrong. the door <laughs> even. Hello, <laughs> I'm children's presenter. Oh god, yeah, scare away the delivery men. They'll never deliver anything to me again. <laughs> so plans for next week. I have so uh, with the remainder of this viscose jersey, I have bought a pattern which is that one there, I might put an insert a better picture of it so you can see it in the flap and the back which I'm, I'm not going to wear the dress but I'm going to turn it into kind of an ear hip length top because um, I want to make sort of a back wing top for that jersey and I think it might look quite nice, it's either going to look really lovely or it's going to look really horrible we'll find out next week and we'll make her wear it, particularly if it looks horrible yeah. 